Well, 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 what do we have here then? This is no Roman army or Celtic horde. What do we have here then? We have a load of Normans. A load of Normans. And we, because we are here with Britannia Total War, I've uh, got an amazing siege battle for you guys. It's a really, really close battle. And uh, yes, we have two Norman armies spread out around the area. And we have, inside we have a Norman force and a Dyphon force. And we'll put this into play for now. And um, yeah, so we have a Dyphon player defending and he's got, we'll start with the defenders. We've got Spear Guard, uh, Spear Guard, Spear Herdman. Um, Eastman, Mailed Axeman, um, and uh, let's see what archers he got. I'm very new to this game, um, so I have no idea how good most of these units are. I mean, it's saying elite bowmen infantry. Okay, thank you. Um, Eastman Hunters, he's also, his general is the Hearth Guard. Let's have a look at him. They look very cool. Look at them. Look at them. They look excellent, don't they? So we'll uh, keep an eye on them. And then what we got over here? We've got more. Oh, we got Eastman champions. These are different. This is going to hurt them, hopefully. It's going to hurt them, hopefully. Oh, it's a bit horrible. So we'll. Uh, yeah, they look excellent, don't they? The walls are breached. Um, what else have we got? What else do we have? Eastman Hunter, and that's about it, I think. And so I've, I am playing this battle, and oh, we've missed early action. Um, cavalry has been engaging. Here we've got a Norman horseman fighting up against Norman knights. Two units of Norman horsemen beating one unit of Norman knights. Um, which are now returning to the battlefield, but the Norman Knights here are in fact losing. I think. Combat. Oh no, combat even. They're doing okay. Let's have a quick look at this then. So we've got the Norman Knights. You can't really tell who's who. It's Normans v. Normans. And now the Norman Knights are returning. I guess you can sort by the kite shields. You can tell who's who. But that's about it. Horses are so loud. Um, so yeah. That is what we have going on there. We have cir I have circular shields here, and they have kite shields. That's how you're gonna have to tell the difference. But yeah, and now it. What? Who's this coming in? We have some mailed spearmen. Interesting. Let's have a quick look at these guys. I'll quickly go. I mean, both um, I and the enemy unit, uh, enemy Normans, both have similar units. Oh, Dyflin also has units over here. Eastman Axemen and Great Axes. Great Axes sound like they'd be very good, but they Levy Axemen. They don't look that great. They look okay. And then I am bringing out... Oh, I've got some Norman Axe Levy myself coming. I've sent out to take on his Norman Knights and his Spears. They are losing decisively. I think it's be the reason I was doing this whole engagement out here was I was trying to get to the uh, artillery, which um, he is now trying to defend with his foot soldiers. So, will I be able to get them? I have no idea. But, but both I and uh, the attackers have both gone for lots of heavy spears, lots of heavy swords, and archers and crossbows. And we will have a look at them. But they also have a catapult each. They flee before our might. They flee before our might. Excellent. A tower has been destroyed. Oh no, a tower has been destroyed. So they must be bombarding the towers with artillery. See, he's defending his artillery very well. Uh, his artillery crew very well. By mixing them in there with the spears. Oh, the foot soldiers, not even spears. Our men run from the enemy. This is so my axes are running, I think, because they've been in prolonged melee and they're not winning. Yeah, and then I sent my cavalry in to uh, basically deal with them. Yes, yeah, so they are—they're doing okay. So now, oh, the swords! Oh gosh, loads of trees. 
swords are now leaving the uh, catapult. The catapult's not doing a run. My cavalry is trying to flank around. My other cavalry unit is routing currently. So they're, they're, they're doing some things. Um, capturing gates. Oh yes, the other Norman player is just quite happily burning our, our village. Village, uh, it's more than a village, isn't it? It's quite a big city, I'd say. It's a fortress. But yeah, if you um, are new to Britannia, like I was, and then you realise that settlement damage um, now damages like supplies and melee skill. So at 3% we're down one melee skill than what we started on. And that's just going to get worse and worse as they burn more of the village down. And you just check out, I don't know if they're doing it anymore, but they are just like, they send men that walk by and they just like start burning. Um, they just like start throwing torches and stuff. It's really cool. Let's um, we'll see if we can catch another like unit do it. Over here possibly, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I think these guys are doing it. No, maybe not. Yeah, there they go. They beat they were doing it and they threw fire on there and it's now a light and it's getting worse and worse. So going back to the cavalry, I think I've uh, my cavalry is routing. I do do some damage to the catapult very slightly. I take out a few of their crew, but it's not enough damage to break them. And my axes are now retreating back to uh, back to camp. They have done their duty, which I'm not quite sure what it is, but they've done something. <laughs> so now at four percent, which hasn't damaged it anymore, but um, yeah, it's it's not damaged it much more, and they are now taking a victory point, which is uh, unfortunate. I'm now going to quickly fast forward because this is a bit of a down low part of the battle, or the siege, I should say. Um, they they basically start burning a lot of the place down, and they're moving up their troops. And I end up doing what do I end up doing? I think yes, what I was going to do was hold this area here and hope that these um, axes here facing this way so they have the backs of the gate could hold for a little bit and ra these towers could rack up some fire some fire some kills um, by firing on uh, the units that will eventually come and get them but they have uh, these guys just didn't want to stand properly and now they do they're finally in shield wall which just looks amazing just look at that it's just beautiful. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And then we have it going on over here as well. On the bridge, which looks amazing. This huge bridge here. We eventually have it happening here. You can see Dyflin started to do it with his troops. And they look amazing. All these factions look amazing. I think Dyflin... I want to say Dyflin's like an Irish faction. And, um, well, obviously the Normans are... Of Viking descent and then um, occupy Normandy eventually. But yeah, look at that. That is amazing. That is amazing. So now I'm pretty sure we are. What are we do now? Oh, yes, I'm about to engage over here. Oh, engaged and died. That was very quick. I was, it, it, I was too busy admiring the beauty of this game. But oh yes. Um, there is a bit of an engagement here going on. Um, the units that got left out here to try and hold up. And try and rack up some kills. Are getting slowly massacred. It is not pretty. I am just going to turn down. Um hate to do this sorry in the middle of the game in the middle of the battle really ruins um but it's so noisy i am getting deafened getting deafened I... sorry about that guys um but yeah i'm getting deafened there we go they're absolutely destroying 
these Eastman Axemen, which are very their lowest tier, their first tier. So I'm not surprised. Um, yeah, recent casualties of staying tired, surrounded by Norman foot soldiers, which are like tier three. I don't think the Normans can get much lower than um, tier two. To be honest, I mean the, those axes that I brought, they they were pretty awful. But yeah, they can't bring much worse than that. So, um, yes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here we go. Have a look. Classic cinematic. Run them down. Very nice. So they've been massacred. And now it is very much, again, another dead part of the battle. I don't really want to see that. You can see they're throwing, throwing stuff and burning stuff now. Very nice. Yeah, I'm not. It, I'm pretty sure they ran up to it and they um, went and burnt stuff. But maybe I'm wrong. Oh, it's the archers. He's got archers firing. Very strange. You just it's wasting ammunition. Hmm. That's very. That's very wasteful ammunition. But yeah, here we go. The Norman mailed knights are starting to move up, as are the Norman spears. And they are into position until until then so I'll do a cut I'll do a cut for now because it's actually it's longer than I thought is this little gap and um, I'll see you guys back on the other side when this is done hi guys and welcome back that's um, the cut is um, basically over There's, these archers have started to fire we've got an advance going up here by the Normans they've started to push their forces up um, so yeah unfortunately it was a it was a, not the longest of cuts but it was a it was a worth having otherwise I would have just been a bit dead and you don't want just to sit there and just be watching men walking forward you want to be watching men marching uh, marching that's what I just said we don't want to be doing um, you want to be watching uh, men die and blood cur curdling cries of battle. And here we go. I think we've just come out of shield formation because I decided to reform just so we fill the entire bridge because there was a few little gaps. But yeah, we decided not to like go into the whole city because it was a huge city to, for a 2v2 to defend. So we decided we'd defend the top half and... Um, which may get some criticism because it's it's kind of like camping, but it punishes us in this game because we're now at 28% settlement damage. That's five melee skill and five supplies. So it's not really like a cheating anyway. It's, you get punished for it in this game for doing this, but we're willing to take the risk because we can now try and defeat their superior army in a smaller choke point. Like in 300. But we've got these archers here, which can't even see what they're firing at they can't even see over there but they know there's enemies there and they're firing down or firing their arrows down at them come on let's have a volley let's have a volley no ah oh. That's a bit funny, their jumps there. <laughs> their f jumps were a bit funny and a bit silly there, but oh well. So we're not going to have anything from them. And um, you may have sound like, um, you may have heard someone, the cry go up that the warriors have lost the will to fight. That was because my cavalry had managed to come back from the battle. And I got them all the way around here. And they were like wavering. And then I got them to try and like, there were some guys here that was like, oh, just try and pick these guys off just for, because my cavalry was going to be no use inside the sea. Because they had it all, all the choke points defended. And he somehow forgot this unit. Either it bugged out or he just forgot about it. So he's going to try and run down these guys. And they broke as soon as he got within like meters of them. So my cavalry are just a load of wimps. And yeah, that just didn't end well. So now we've got infantry ready and standing off here. So we are ready for battle. It seems. It's just standing here. Preparing. It's just that, look at that. What would you even think about when you're going through, what would be going through your mind when you're looking at that? It's just terrifying. It's a solid wall of wood and meat, and metal, meat. Not a cannibal. Don't, men aren't meat. Flesh, that would be a better way of putting it. Meat. Look at that, it's beautiful. This game is absolutely beautiful. 
We will make them pay. For some reason we've got to take this city from them. I, I'm guessing the Normans have just decided they're doing an invasion and there's some like Norman um, separatists almost that have decided no that's it we're we've um, we're not allowing you just to take this land from these Irishmen and now there's a fight going on and they're firing fire arrows and setting a tree alight and then these archers are getting some shots back again they cannot see at all what is going on or maybe oh I don't know no you can't you can just see you can almost see what's going on oh No, you can barely see. If anything. But apparently they can. Now the Norman archers are shooting them. And they've got main warriors. They've got a lot of... Fairly good swords. And stuff like that. And over here, there's just still a standoff. There's been a bit of ar archer fire. And as you can see here, the Norman archers are starting to break. I'm, I decided I was going to focus down my um, their archers with my archers just so they have no skirmish capability and there you go they're broken and I have crossbows here on both flanks so when they come in they will just get a nice um, flanking shot and I have Norman spears ready to hold here and to be honest I looking back I shouldn't have defended so far up but well, I it was shouldn't shouldn't have done it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in the end. So look at these, look at this spear wall, all those pointy sticks, as they, as I'm going to call them now, the pointy sticks of justice, pointing out. And I mean, they're not the most well armored, but hopefully with this their shields they will hold. Um, yeah, and instead, instead of fighting, the Normans here have decided to also go in shield wall to deny us getting some easy skirmish kills. Which is fair enough, I understand that. So, while they're, and they're all still getting their artillery into position, which is really wish I'd taken out. But over here now, combat has begun. We are just going to watch this. And there's, I, there's not much I can commentate really on uh, with siege battles. It's just, there's not much tactics, it's just brute force trying to force through so there will be points when I'll probably uh, go a little bit quiet because I'll just let you admire the battle and um, just see men die basically just watch these poor innocent men die but these guys these animated men have no have no rights and their lives don't matter but that guys these guys here do they've got cool beards you, you matter up to me you call cool bearded man. Oh, headbutt. Very nice. Let's let's just zoom out a little bit. See, okay, we've got more men rushing in. More. Um, oh, and we've got artillery coming in, and that's just hit. That's done a lot of friendly fire. I'm pretty sure that did a lot of friendly fire. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Oh, they were two very good hits. So, okay, they're getting some good hits now with their uh, artillery and they're doing a little bit of damage. Oof. That was a little short. It got one or two. This poor guy here. He's like, oh, save me. I've been hit with a boulder the size of a melon. Probably actually bigger than a melon, but, you know. Now we've got archer fire coming in from. Where's the archer fire coming in from? Coming in from over here. Some Norman archers just firing off. Very depleted unit. So they'll do a little bit of damage, but not much. But I think there's probably more Normans to hit at than there are um, Dyflin men. But the Dyflin men, are, I think, are definitely the ones taking the fire. If, you, um, if the Normans pull back, they could get their archers just right up to here. And um, just fire at point blank range. Which is they possibly should have done. We, we were happy to stand there and take... Um, in shield wall should have done that but as you can see here not much has changed um, just to let you know what's happening I think there's been a few shots by the um, catapult as you can see here this formation is slightly like busted up but 
apart from that, there's been nothing really happening. I've destroyed more of the archers that have um, like come up to skirmish with my archers and crossbows, but we're running low on ammunition, so I told them to hold fire, and the archers then got away. And Norman Huskar, the general here, is uh, getting ready for the attack, and they've even got Norman foot soldiers defending the back passes because they were still thinking my cavalry was around, but my cavalry was long gone. Oh, itchy nose. Sorry, guys. Got an itch that nose when you've got to itch it. So I sent over two units of uh, Norman uh, foot soldiers and some archers to help because I was thinking, well, I'm not being engaged right now, so we'll send over some units to help and try and win the battle here before sending our forces back to the other front. So we've now got another another force that's arrived on the front. It's more Normans. The Norman Separatists, as I'll, I'll call them. But Spears vi v Axes. Axes, I would have thought, in prolonged melee. And like I said, I'm quite new to this game. In prolonged melee, will probably not do as well as Spears. But there are also a mix of swords in there from Die Flynn. I don't know. We'll see. These Axes seem to be doing fairly well. They seem to be cutting up these units. Maybe against these more elite um, swords, they may have a bit more of a challenge. We'll see. Yes, it's uh, very close, very close. No... I mean, the Normans seem to have more numbers and they're looking at like the red. It's coming through. And now the archers, and my archers, are loosing fire, shooting at all the different formations that are coming in. That's the general that's coming into the battle here. The general has arrived. And he is going to... It's tier one. So it's a tier one unit is the general unit. That's interesting. So the general has now gone into the battle and he is about to crush and kill kill some people, take some lives. We have Flemish crossbows um, still firing here. Who are they firing at? They're probably firing at my archers, I believe. My archers, no. Oh, maybe. Oh, they're firing at these, uh, still firing at these Eastman hunters. They're taking a lot of fire in there. Poor guy. No. T tell my family I love them. Bleeding. You're bleeding. Oh, well, better sort that out. Oh, that guy there. He's just got an arrow in his chest. He's got an arrow in his chest. You okay? Oh, it's gone now. Well, these guys can take a lot of take a lot of hits. Oh, just an arrow to the chest. Fine, I'll walk it off. Let's check what's going on on the other side. The lines have still not collided, but the lines have definitely changed in shape. They've got a lot closer. It's now a V formation. They're just basically closing off any escape. Not that we one new escape this way anyway. So now, he, and he's sending forward Flemish crossbows. He's probably decided, well, if they're going to sit there, then they can uh, sit there. And then we'll just shoot at them at point blank range. And then he changed his mind. Interesting. I would have, I would have just sat there. Would have been... It seems very silly to keep going backwards and forwards and just disrupting the formation. And now they're trying to shoot at my crossbows. Which I don't think they'll really manage because I'm behind nice fortifications and... You won't get if any kills doing that. Let's see. Yeah, they're just like, look at that. The bolts are just hitting the lower part of um, the wall there. Or going over the head and hitting my guys behind. That's even nicer. Some poor guy was just like, Ow! I just got a... I just got hit by a random arrow. That'd be the worst way to die in a battle, I'm pretty sure. Just like a random arrow. And he's like, Ow! Oh, Jimmy! Jimmy, you alright? No! I'm not! But oh well. There is uh, no change there, no change. Still waiting on them to hit, hit each other and take lives. So now we've got main warriors here, including with the general and spears. And have we got any elite swords that have arrived yet? Mm, yes, I think we do. The kite shields indicate that there might be some elite spears coming up. But... 
Maybe some... Let's have a look. Are there any... Yeah, Norman foot soldiers. These are the elite stuff. And then we've got Norman spearmen. They're not that elite. Norman spearmen. Got a lot of Norman spearmen. Norman axemen. Oof. They're very imaginative with their names. It's Norman and that's it. I wonder if the, it's an army of Normans as well. If it, To like, be a Norman, you have to be called Norman. Maybe. We'll find out. I guess. I don't know how we're going to find out, but we are. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna interrogate them all. Ask them, is your name Norman? No. Well, it is now. Norman to another Norman. And these are Norman. I'm going to have to stop. I can't stop saying Norman now. They've got some fairly ranked up Norman stuff. Like, main warriors rank uh, three... And Norman warrior Axemen, rank 3, like different colour chevrons, silver and gold. Now we have finally clashed over here. Finally clashed. That's excellent. We can have a look at this. See what they're doing. That is beautiful. This guy here at the front all bloodied up. And in the background you see the archers getting absolutely peppered. Oh, I'm going to turn tail and run. Where are they turn turning and run? I don't know. Oh, it might be over there in the center where they're dropping their heads. They look like they're getting broken up quickly, but these are elite um, spears, so I'm not surprised. It may have been more of a wise move to have had my spear, like weak spears over there with the um, Dyflin weaker spears, because then we could have had a thicker line of weak spears and they may have held longer. Because now the Normans have broken through the middle. They've got swords breaking through. And they've got a lot of spears breaking breaking through. An entire unit has perished. Oh dear. All those men there. Dead. What for? Absolutely nothing it seems. Absolutely massacred. And they've been victorious here. And they're jumping in the, in the air. And then they're getting shot. Oof. Those Flemish crossbowmen are getting hit. Hard. Yep, they are definitely doing it hard. Already down to nearly half strength. That is horrendous. Horrendous. Now we've got Norman foot soldiers coming in, and they're getting ready in position. They've already taken a little bit of damage. There's a few of these have taken a little bit. One or two damage. Then we've got one in the back there, more fresh. They're okay. Yeah, they're taking a little bit of damage just from... I think it's just from the extra volleys that are trying to hit the arches, which are now breaking. 72. Some of these are, yeah, pretty weak, but here we go. The next push. The next line of defense. I'm starting to send up more troops. Some mailed spearmen to try and hold the line here. Hold the line and uh, reinforce because I was realizing, well, these spear guard and, um, what else is it? Spear herdmen are not going to hold long against um, the Norman foot soldiers. Lots of Norman foot soldiers coming up now, and lots of Norman spearmen as well. Mailed spearmen. They're not just any old spearmen. Mailed spearmen. They look amazing, though. They do look just amazing. I would not want to face up against them. I think CA have done an amazing job in this game. It looks amazing. And it reminds me of Last Kingdom. If you've, uh, if any of you guys have watched Last Kingdom, drop it down in the comments. It's an amazing show. Um, it's based around this period as well of like Alfred the Great. It's um, basically about some guy um, called Uhtred who does, who's born a Saxon but raised a Viking and he's conflicted on his allegiances and he loses his land in the north to the Vikings. So um, yeah, it's worth a watch. I think it's um, I think it's on Netflix. You should um, they moved it to Netflix. Um, now, so you should definitely go and check it out, guys. 100%. Look at this. They're jumping for some reason. I don't know why you guys are jumping. You've not won yet. There's a whole line of men just like here, waiting. My guys are waving their spears in the air as well. What are you guys doing? Idiots. Let's uh, have a quick. I mean, look at that. It's just male to male. You just. 
Well, yes, of course, it's male on male, but it's mailed men on mailed men. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's have a look at what's going on on the other side then. Oh, okay. Looks like... Oh, it looks like... The Normans are retreating quite a lot. Yeah, they're pulling back. Interesting. Wow, this is uh, definitely interesting then. They're pulling back. And they've got setting up like a new fresh line there. I think they're the main swordsmen. They're like the they're, the, they're standard infantry. I think they're pretty elite. Well, not pretty elite, but they're like more elite than these guys. But they're not the elite elite. They're pretty standard, I think, from what I gathered. But, um, an ally has fled. Oh dear! Some the allies' troops are fleeing now. There's like look that arch arch in the background there. It's like oh, no, run. Run, the enemy are there! And he's like, oh no, my courage has returned. Nope, that's it, I'm off again. <laughs> he's gonna do the old battle, isn't he? But yeah, here we go. Yep, they're cheering for some reason. Uh, uh, for some reason they're cheering. Are more Normans fleeing? Yeah, more Normans fleeing. Broken, they're elite soldiers. There's foot soldiers as well, they're fairly elite. There's a lot of sort of weaker units coming up now, looking at this. There's a lot of, um, Sa uh, not Saxon, um, Norman spearmen, which are fairly unarmored and look pretty, pretty weak. So, um, going on here, everything's been committed by the Normans here. And as have I committed near nearly all my forces. We've got a lot of, um, Norman foot soldiers basically um, just waiting in reserve ready to go and a lot of my crossbows also used up all their ammunition and I started with this crossbow unit to try and just whittle away at the general who here is on 68 uh, 67 out of 75 because they have no shield so you can just shoot at them and they'll just take out um, take out some men just like that and he look at this guy he's so good he took one to the shoulder and now they're off they're running away 66, 64, ooh, 63, ooh, that's painful, 62. It's brutal, brutal. 62, we got it down to, but no general killed either, and now the last of, like, the Eiffel's men over here are breaking, the spear guard are finally finally dead and I'm sending in my uh, foot soldiers now to basically um, reinforce and he's sending in his uh, his footmen as well, his foot soldiers to reinforce his lines and uh, it's just well, if you're going to send in foot soldiers, I'm going to send in foot soldiers. It's literally like, look at that, he's got men in reserve he's got male spearmen on this side oh, I've got Flemish crossbows breaking, my general is looking like he's gonna have to go in soon we're running out of reserves over here because I sent men over to help on this side and an entire unit has perished of ours that's not great I've also sent in um, look at this male axemen they are shattered they're running not good I've sent in a foot soldier of my own to um, basically just hold the line because it's looking thin now for Dyflin. It's not looking very good. And these uh, Norman spearmen are not breaking. Which is annoying. And I've run out of archer support on this side as well. It's, it's not looking good. Norman knights. The men have been routed. Oh, the men have been routed. Where are the men? Oh, they've been routed over here. Not looking good. We're starting to... Uh, there's a few gaps starting to appear. We should really start to think about pulling back to here possibly but it's very open it's the problem we have to hold up these two choke points really and 
see whether we can hold out but we need to send him more men and look at this he finds a gap oh we're zooming in on the wrong bit um, he finds a gap in the lines here and just pours men through which is really annoying so now I've had to commit my final Norman soldier unit to uh, to break them basically and there they go they're broken but the enemy general is dead over here so the general has charged in and has died and there's a huge break by Norman axemen spearmen um, no more the huskals are wavering but not yet and now the gen um, not the general the Norman knights are going in and they found a gap and they've got in behind it's not looking good Norman knights are in behind and they're gonna start doing some psychic charges Yep, yeah, everything's starting to break here. It's looking like we're going to win this flank. It's looking like we're going to win this flank. If we can just defeat those Norman knights, then we've probably got the flank under control. On this side, though, it's a different story. It's looking a bit risky now. There's been some gaps to be made. The uh, general for the enemy, uh, for the other Normans, have gone in, and they are. It's just, it's just talking over me. Is and they've gone in and they're going to start shaking heads and they're going mad. No Berserkers in this battle, um, surprisingly. And Berserkers, I've heard, are fairly OP. The Huskars are fairly much a similar to uh, similar to Berserkers, I, I imagine. Just because they, they've got no sword and... Uh, uh, no sword, they've got no shield um, on their front. They've got it on their back and that's it. Look at that. Um, it sounds like there's a lot of breaking going on on the other side. Oh, unlucky mate yeah so we've got I think on this side there is quite a lot of breaking going on now because that cavalry is actually destroying our uh, our our lines and unfortunately now they can get in behind and they can do a lot of damage now we've got Flemish crossbows just about to raid um, look at this look at this it's just look at the line of set they've got into the back lines they can just rain fire on us fire or just, oh no, it is fire, I guess, because it's not it's not um, bows, so it's not loose. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's fire. It's crossbows. Where are you off? You're not gonna fire on them? Interesting. They're already making an advance uh, on the other position. No need to stay here, I guess. The hearth guard are losing very very badly, and our general has fallen. So look at this, it's not looking good now. Sorry, we're just looking at that. But yeah, the general has fallen. The Allies general has fallen. It's not looking good now. We need to kill their general really, really quickly. But he's in the, he's in the middle of the fight here. He's on 23. If we can kill this general, we could probably cause a huge break. But that's it. The ally, My ally is gone. It's just down to me now to uh, reclaim the day. Here we go. Can we do it? Here comes in the uh, general for them, and he is just running around. I mean, I can barely tell who's who at this point. Everyone, all the elite stuff is just there. And we've got floating rocks. We have floating rocks. Don't you just love EA, but it's floating rocks. Yeah, my, my units just keep breaking, and uh, I did not realize this before. We have floating rocks. We have quite a lot of floating rocks. Um, yeah, my units are breaking. Look at that. A huge... There's 33 men. There must be another unit as well. Nine. No, 33, 29. Yeah, two units there that really shouldn't be breaking are breaking. Don't know exactly what they are doing, to be honest. But yeah, general broke... I guess general's dead, so no wonder they're breaking. But we really needed those men to hold the lines. But we are very much... It looks like it's about all is done. It is very much uh, going to be a Norman loyalist victory we'll go with. And the Separatists have been beaten with their Dyflin allies. So, yeah, that's it. Last, last unit, and it is done. That was a valiant defeat. So we will uh, end the replay, and we will look at the results. Oh, no, we won't. <laughs> we will not look at the results so um, until the next time guys I will see you guys later um, that was a close close battle it was unfortunate about that um, defeat but we will fight again we will go on again and we will see whether we can win I've got another battle which I would like to show 
um, you guys, but that will come out maybe later this week or next week. I've got another, yeah, another Thrones battle for you. So until next time, guys, I will see you guys later. Um, thanks for the support with the channel. Uh, until next time, bye for now.